Hi, I'm 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. We're going to talk a little bit about hurricane frequency. What does the season look like? Uh, and obviously you may know it's from June 1st through November 30th. That's the season. Uh, but you know, you have to think about it. if you go back the last seven years, going back to 2015, we've seen a name storm before June 1st, the last seven years in a row. Uh, we tend not to see a whole lot June and July, but notice when August gets here, how we ramp things up. The statistical peak of storms, the best chance to see them, the most of them, comes on September 10th, and then gradually we start to slow things down. And my rule of thumb is kind of once we get to Halloween, if you can get Halloween behind you, in November tends to be a little bit quiet. Still have to watch them because it goes through the end of November, but you can see the bulk of the season arrives really from August 1st through the end of October. Now, the Hurricane Center issues outlooks twice a day, looking out over the, the Atlantic Basin saying, hey, we think this is a small chance of developing or nothing is going to develop. They used to start those on June 1st, but because we've seen so many storms start in May over the last seven years, they actually start that around May 15th. Now, let's talk about frequency. So the Atlantic hurricane season, Generally, from 1981 to 2010, saw 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and three of those became major hurricanes. That's cat three or higher, 111 miles per hour winds or higher. So we go back and we do this. You can see this is a basically 81 to 2010 is a 30 year average. So now that we got to 2020, we went back to 1991 to 2020. Look at the average. We've seen more storms over that period. So now the averages have gone up to 14 named storms. Seven of those become hurricanes. Three of those become major hurricanes, those category three or higher. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, where they come from, right? It, getting hit here in the Tampa Bay area is a little bit harder than, say, Miami. So what you're looking at here is the average number of years that pass between a direct hit of a hurricane. For us here in the Tampa Bay region, it's about nine to 10 years. You can see it's only about six to seven years for South Florida. It's about nine to 10 years up in the panhandle, but the last several years has been much, much busier than nine to 10 years for sure. Stay informed, prepared, and connected with 10 Tampa Bay during hurricane season and every day. Watch us on your phone. Just download our app. Stream us on your TV, and you can even watch live newscasts on 10tampabay.com.